Hey guys, this is Maxo7910, and today I'm going to show you how to process vocals. So, here I have an unused vocal from a friend of mine called Katie Sky. It sounds like this without processing. Just wait a minute, beam me up. And with processing, it sounds like this. Just wait a minute, beam me up so high. Let's first start off with the pitch correction plugin. The pitch correction plugin is a built in plugin in Logic, which is basically an auto tune. The vocal was recorded in G minor, so I set the options to root G and the scale to natural minor scale. I have a medium long response time because that way I have still the vocal um, playing in a natural way. If I make the response time really quick, it would sound like this. Just wait a minute, beam me up. It sounds very unnatural, hence why I have the long response time. Next up in the chain, we have a simple EQ, just taking away the low frequencies at 140 Hertz. After that, I have a saturator with these settings going on. I'm basically boosting a little bit the, the mid-high frequency spectrum. I increase the dynamics on this band and turn the mix down to, to 22%. I also add a little bit of sparkle in the high end by adding some presence and having a really low mix. Without the saturator, something like this. Just wait a minute. And with a saturator. Just wait a minute, beam me up. So you can tell that the vocal is now being pushed up, pushed. You can now tell that the vocal is really coming to life a little bit with the saturator. After the saturator, I have once again an EQ to take away some of the low frequencies that are created from the saturator because the saturator creates frequencies. I also have here a dynamic EQ going on in the high end because I thought it was a little too harsh in this area, but then I added once again some more frequencies in the upper, upper high end uh, because I was missing the sparkle. So without the EQ, something like this. Just wait a minute. And with. Just wait a minute. Be so you can tell I was really taming the 11K area. After that, I have then an EQ. I like to use the preset control in the vocal section because as it says in its name, it really controls the vocal. And um, I just usually don't touch the, the knobs because I, I feel like it just does the job. With a compressor, it sounds like this. Just wait a minute, beam me up. After the compressor, I use this great free plugin called Fresh Air from Waves with these settings. Fresh Air is a really good plugin because it really boosts the high end in a nice natural way, which you cannot really achieve with a simple fat filter plugin. I do warn producers not to overuse this plugin because if I was supposed to increase the percentage in the high air or mid air, it would then sound like this. Just wait a minute, beam me up so high. As you can tell, I was exaggerating. Of course, the plugin has this really nice algorithm to it where, when pushing these high end frequencies, but of course, you should be careful and not exaggerate. I feel like with these options in fresh air, the vocal sounds really good. Just wait a minute, beam me up so high, the flushing. You can really tell that it's standing out now. After the Fresh Air plugin, I added a de-esser because I wanted to tame the really harsh S's that were created through the Fresh Air and the EQ and the Saturator. I used the preset female split band and then turned the threshold knob a little more towards the left side to really tame the S's. Just wait a minute, beam me up. So After that, I have a medium long reverb with a really small mix, which sounds like this. Just wait a minute, beam. I then added once again another EQ just to remove some uh, some of the low frequencies. And then I added here the Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor. I don't use the Mastering Compressor just on my master. I also use it on buses such as vocals, synths, and basses because I feel like with the built-in presets, it does a really nice job compressing the sounds. I use this preset Voxel Female. Without the Mastering Compressor, it sounds like this. Just wait a minute, and with just wait a minute beam 
me up. So it's getting heavily compressed, but in my opinion, it's getting compressed in a nice way. We have now in bus one, we're now routing the vocals to the bus one, which is a reverb bus, a pretty standard reverb. And then after that, I'm side chaining the reverb to the vocal. So then whenever the vocal is playing, the reverb is then ducking. With the reverb bus, it's like this. Just wait a minute, beam me up. We're also routing the vocal to a second bus, which is the delay bus. In the delay, I have these options. Basically, I set the delay to an eighth dotted rhythm. I then add an EQ to remove some of those frequencies. And then I once again side chain the delay to the reverb. With a delay, it sounds like this. Just wait a minute, beam me up. At last, I have a third bus, which is rather a creative kind of bus. I have here another reverb again with a medium long decay. I added a chorus after this reverb just to give it more movement, a tremolo to then pan this reverb side to side. And then I once again side chain the reverb to this vocal. I usually do this kind of creative reverb mixing just because it's a little bit different and it just fills up a little bit more the whole mix. Altogether, it sounds like this. Just wait a minute, beam me up so high, the flashing light set. If you have any other tips and tricks you'd like to know, write in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.